guys? Today we're going to be doing a bit of animating and I'm going to try and recreate this rice gum thumbs up emoji animation. So it's a pretty quick animation. It's like a good starting point to learn how to do more of this stuff. So the first thing you want to do is download your PNG image and if you go on to Google and search whatever image you want and then after it put PNG you should be able to download a image with a clear background. So once you've done that then go back into Final Cut Pro. I'm going to drag my image into here. What I like to do if I'm trying to recreate uh, animation or something like that I will count how many frames animation has. So if I skip through this frame by frame then it has 16 frames and then what I'll do is I'll count out 16 frames on this and then I'll just cut it there. So now it's the same length as the other one. I'm just going to resize this a little bit and now we're going to start keyframing. So you want to go to the start of your image, click the little transform tool button here, click the keyframe button and I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can drag this off screen and we're going to start it off here. I'm going to skip forward a few frames. You can go back and count how many frames it takes to slide on if you want to get it really detailed. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so about five frames from the left to the center. Five frames into the image. I'm going to drag this into the middle and then I'm going to skip forward another five frames. Because I want it to stay in the same place, I'm going to hit the keyframe button and then I'm going to skip one more frame. I'm going to bring the scale up a tiny bit to give it like a little uh, bounce before it zooms out. So just like that. And then I'm going to go to the end and turn the scale all the way down so it zooms out. So just like that we have the slide on and then the little kind of bounce and zoom out the end. So now I'm going to add this glow effect. So I'm going to go to the effects tab down here and I'm going to search for the glow effect. And this one actually comes with Final Cut Pro so everyone should have this. And you just want to drag that onto your clip. We're going to turn it down to zero. We're going to go to the bit where the thumb meets the middle. Hit the keyframe button. Skip forward one frame and then put this all the way up to 100. And then skip another frame. and put it back down. Okay, so it's a bit too quick. So what I'm going to do is right click on here, click show video animation, and this is going to bring up all of my keyframes. So here we have the glow amount keyframes, and I can just move these to extend the glow effect. So that, that looks a bit better. I want a bit of outer glow on this. So what I'm going to do is add an effect called glory and I'm going to search that in my effects tab, glory, I'm going to add that on. And because this effect extends out from the image, it's hitting the emoji kind of boundaries. So to get around that, I'm going to delete this real quick. I'm going to turn this into a compound clip. And now when we add the glory effect, it's not going to hit the boundaries. So I'm going to turn this right down. I'm going to go to the beginning just before the glow turns on, I'm going to hit the keyframe button. I'm going to move forward to where the glow is at its strongest. And then I'm going to turn this up like that. I might turn the threshold down a little bit, just like that. And then skip forward another frame and turn the amount right down again. So which gives it a bit of a better glow effect. Okay, so that's pretty much done. To make this look a bit better, you can add motion blur. You'll see me using this quite a lot. It just adds uh, like a natural motion blur to all of your effects and stuff like that. This is a free plugin. I'll leave this in the description if you want to download it. And I'm going to use a moderate motion blur free. I'm also always updating this. Um, so if you haven't downloaded it recently, I would recommend re-downloading it because I'm always kind of creating new motion blurs to suit the effects and stuff like that. Cool, and there you go, that is the finished product. I actually have a preset for this down below. If you want to download it, it's a free download. There's a little tutorial video on the uh, on the link below. So if you're not sure on how to install it, then check that one out. Next week, I'm gonna be looking at all of the editing competition videos. 
So if you still want to send one in, you still have this weekend to do it. And uh, yeah, next week I'm going to be watching all of those and picking a winner from that to win a load of free stuff. So, so yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. And yeah, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.